one of the tools that you'll see across all of the platforms in terms of documents, as well as in the desktop edition, is going to be the dictation function. So for example, if we were to go into either Word or PowerPoint and to go into one of those documents while we were inside of Teams, you're going to see that document open up. And then what you're going to see, and you're going to see this in real time, is you're going to see the interface come available to you. What you'll then see is a microphone here, and that microphone is for dictation. So what we can do here is we can then change to a specific line. We can turn on the dictation, and then we can determine that the dictation will begin. And you can see the words there, period. When you're ready to turn off dictation, all you'll do is to click the microphone and the dictation will end. So basically, you're going to have this available inside of Microsoft Word. You'll also have the feature available inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, obviously, as the function is not as helpful inside of Microsoft Excel, you will not see it available. Now, one element that you may want to use, the dictation function is going to be inside of OneNote if you choose to use it as a note-taking platform. And once you open up the OneNote document, you're going to see elements come available to you. Once you click the edit mode, you're then going to get access to other tools that you're going to be able to use in order to add content to the actual notebook. Now inside of Teams, what we're going to have to do is click Edit Notebook. We'll then see our tools. Now what you're going to see here is you're going to see this Dictate icon. And we can use that inside of OneNote. Now the thing with using it inside of OneNote is that if we are taking notes, if we're trying to track what we're saying in a meeting, we can turn on that Dictate in order to track the words that we are saying and to have those words come into the actual document while we are working. So the dictate command is going to be helpful again in Word, PowerPoint, OneNote. In this case, it's not going to help us necessarily with Microsoft Excel as it doesn't appear in our menu. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.